I'm Pam Seidel on Church Street. Every year since the year 2000, Toronto police have proudly marched in this city's annual Pride Parade. That is until 2017, when the relationship between the city's LGBTQ community and police became so strained that uniformed officers were banned from participating. Then again, prior to this year's parade in 2018, the schism widened and police were asked to withdraw their application. Well, today, a major step forward was made towards mending fences between the two groups. Pride Toronto held a uh, news conference here at the 519 Community Centre along with the mayor and the chief where it was announced that Toronto Police will be permitted once again to apply and if they meet the requirements then they will be welcomed back. But Executive Director Olivia Nwama stresses that the board has no regrets about uh, um, uh, eliminating the police in the first place. No, we don't think it was a mistake because what we think that led us to was a much, much, much more transparent and better working relationship today. Police Chief Mark Saunders says it has been a two-year process of consultation to get to this point. He said police were committed to being open during lengthy and frequent meetings that involved sometimes difficult but candid discussions. Standing in front of the camera really truly doesn't represent the tremendous amount of work that has been had over the past couple of years, admitting that there has been strains within the community and the Toronto Police relationship. Um, it is something that we have always considered to be something serious that we needed to uh, figure out how to move forward. Tensions flared in 2016 when Black Lives Matter interrupted the parade to protest the presence of uniformed officers. The relationship worsened in 2017 during the investigation into alleged serial killer Bruce MacArthur. Eventually, he was charged with killing eight men, many who were connected to the gay village. Olivia Nwama couldn't say specifically what had changed with respect to that case, nor that the release of hundreds of pages of documents last month that point to the enormous amount of work police had been doing to make an arrest had any effect on Pride's decision. She says it was not based on any one thing. We have all undertaken to attempt to find solutions to some of the issues, not only that were raised in 2016, but that were also raised as a result of Bruce MacArthur. We know that there's a lot of work that needs to be done. So at some point, we have to decide to undertake that work, um, which is what we're doing now. Mayor John Tory applauded this announcement as very good news, but agrees more work needs to be done. The murders and the disappearances of members of the LGBTQ community, for example, deeply shook our city and left uh, many unanswered questions that we are really working to address now and ensure that the difficult process of healing from that and from other uh, things that have happened over time uh, continues. We hit the street here in the gay community to get reaction from members of the LGBT community and their opinions were widely divergent. It was a bit of a kick of the teeth because the Toronto Police have a long, long way to go before they earn our respect back. It's, uh, the, the whole murder thing was not cool and people have been crying about that forever and no one would listen and now they're just like, back? It's going to take a lot more than that to get the community trust. So you're surprised? I'm very surprised. What do you think about that? I think that's great. I think the police should have been there last year because I think they're... Um, We've come a long way since the bathhouse riots in the 80s, and I think that I actually feel safer when the police are around. And I know some friends who are actually gay police officers, and I think gay pride should be inclusive, and I think the police should be there. Early bird registration to apply to participate in the parade opened a couple of weeks ago. Toronto Police hasn't applied yet, but the chief says they intend to. The pride parade is scheduled for June 23rd.